Hello everyone and good morning from Camden, New Jersey, right across the river from Philadelphia, where today we're here at this building behind us, known as the Adventure Aquarium. And I always love checking out a new aquarium, have never been to this one. So in this video, we're just gonna show you all the exhibits and animals that the aquarium has to offer. I go by the legend, jump by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. I'm excited. Yeah, exactly, any day you get to see penguins, well, that's gonna be a good day. And that's what today is. We have made it inside, and the first exhibit is really, really cool. It's called Piranha Falls. And you can see the little, I believe they're red belly piranhas in there, along with some other fish. Very well done. At the Piranha Falls exhibit, uh, I guess every so often there is a storm, and it counts down to the storm like it's New Year's Eve. Seven, five, four, three, two, one, storm. Yep, there it goes. Pretty neat. This very cool creature is a snake neck turtle. His neck does look like a snake. Mm -hmm. It is not only fish here at the aquarium. You've also got this sleepy bird of paradise who is a yellow naped Amazon. We did have to show up the sign this year. First of all, this bird lives 40 to 60 years, but more importantly, his name's Macbeth and he loves to take a shower. That's so cute. Macbeth is now awake and very cute. He just wants to shower in the corona area. Something you don't always get to see, the snapping turtle is up and moving around. Now, snapping turtles can be found in this area of the country. And yeah, they're really neat. The big snapping turtle moving around. I believe this species is more more active than the alligator snapping turtles. Having to sleep here is the beautiful Diamondback Terrapin. Uh, this will be up there for one of my favorite things we see at the aquarium today. The little blue penguins. They have a bunch of them here. Uh, the little blues are the smallest species of penguin. And while they might look like baby penguins, no, that is absolutely as big as they get. They do have a swimming area as well for the little blues. You can see one swimming over there. But most of them are just hanging out and being adorable. One last view of the little blue penguins. I like these two are just hanging out on their rock. And that guy's the only one that's adventuring into the water. There is a pretty good sized touch tank. Home to some different species of sharks including bamboo sharks. Shots of the big enclosure with the sharks as the sea turtle is swimming close to us. Sea turtles are awesome. Oh, it's feeding time for the sea turtle. Time to eat some lettuce. favorite shark species, the black tip leaf shark. You can also see one of the coolest species of sharks, the hammerhead. There is a very large enclosure here for sharks and stuff, and they do shows where the divers interact with the audience. So this is not going to come out great on camera, 
But for that big enclosure, there's bubble kind of things where you can look in and see that awesome sea turtle again. There's two! Yep, there are at least two in here. Giant rain. This enclosure is also home to a couple large species of rays. Molly, I feel like we're probably going to enjoy this next one. I think so. We're heading into Hippo Haven, home of Jenny and Button. Before we go meet our new hippopotamus friends, there's a couple of lizard species on a smaller enclosure, including this fellow here who's an East African spiny-tailed lizard posing ever so neatly on the wall. There is another species down here as well, but they're kind of uh, hiding in the sand. There's a pair of pancake tortoises, uh, one laying peacefully on top of the other. They're like cuddles. Uh huh. And then right above them is a Euromastix. The two hippopotamuses here, they are both girls. And I have to assume we've probably seen Jenny before as she was born right by us at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Found the two hippopotamuses here. One of them is posing like right against the glass. That is very close to a hippopotamus. The other one doing a more normal hippo thing underneath the water there. It's hippopotamus feeding time. The lettuce is in the water. Shark Realm enclosure. 
And um, this is kind of a neat thing. There's a big giant shark painted on the wall behind you. So when you look through the glass, it kind of looks like that giant shark is in here. Absolutely love this view into the shark realm. The, uh, the window is probably 20 feet tall. There is a shark underwater viewing tunnel. For how big this enclosure is, it's not one of the more impressive shark tunnels I've seen, but it's always fun to go through a shark tunnel. in this enclosure. Oh, they're just uh, kind of hanging out. I like these guys, the cowfish. They have such interesting body types. They're kind of, uh, when they're swimming straight towards you, they kind of look like triangles. See? Triangles. There's also something called the spotted crowfish that I think looks very similar to the cowfish. Yeah, that's a different one than the one that you were just showing. Which makes this enclosure twice as cool. This one is home to 14 different types of fish and one type of cannon. That fella going back into his hiding hole, that's a moray eel. There's supposed to be three types in here. Yes, I, I can see there's like a, a different color one up. He, he's now popped out of the other side. There's a spotted, a up green, there's a and a purple mash. I think I found the spotted. And the other one, well, successfully hiding. Looking at a spiny lobster. And he's kind of on the corner of a curved tank, so looking a little bit funky. These mesmerizing creatures are the upside down jellyfish. Lots of smaller fish in here. And then this one does not have a sign, but it looks like a giant hermit crab. The beautiful, beautiful lionfish. Hooray! Right. 
This is a very interesting enclosure with a, a very much a conservation message showing off how similar a jellyfish looks to a plastic bag. Outdoor section in the aquarium, home to these wonderful feathered friends. These are African warm weather penguins. These kind of penguins live in little kind of like holes and rocks like that. And they're posing for all the people right now. There's a pretty good size ray touch tank. Oh, look at the big guys swimming on in. So there's definitely a couple different types of rays in here. We have just entered the Zone C, which is on a upper floor. It's home to a dwarf caiman. And I feel bad for this dwarf caiman because he's right next to the play area where kids bang on drums all day long. Exhibit for frogs, home to lots of really small enclosures. But I like this dude on the edge of his bubble. And his buddies in the background. Also a couple other species that are not frogs in here, like the Emperor Newt. This is a species that's become very popular in the world of pop culture. These are axolotls. And they have the really cool, kind of frilled heads. This guy actually swims this way. There we go, now the camera has focused on the really cool axolotl. They have a lot of them too and they're, they're pretty active. In a very chill pose in the corner is the Mata Mata turtle. These guys always kind of look like they're smiling. This is a creature I would love to see them put like in an animated movie and get like a big roll because they're so fun looking. The Surinam toad is also posing. Look at his interesting little toad fingers. So interesting. There is a sea star touch tank. Along with a lot of more colorful little enclosures. Oh, there's a like pipe fish down here. A bunch of colorful fish. I also love the wet floor slime the aquarium has. That's fantastic. In the touch tank with the sea stars, they also have portion crabs. Turn the camera back on, because look at, look at that view of the horseshoe crab. He's dancing in front of his window. Lots of fun tropical fish. And then one. Molly! Some neat coral in this one. For $9, you can do one of five different VR ride experiences. Humpback whales, sharks, uh, look like a giant squid, manta rays, and more. Trips home to a 3D movie theater. Uh, right now they're showing two different films, The Hidden Pacific and something with um, uh, CGI turtles. We've seen Hidden Pacific, so we're gonna sit down and watch the one with the CGI turtles. The times are on the maps. Hey Molly, what time is it? I think it's beer 30. Beer 30 indeed. There's a flying fish beer garden and it gets even better. They have their own brews made just for the aquarium and souvenir cups. So we're drinking a watermelon splash with Jenny and Button on it and the blue penguin pilsner. There's also a couple more. Uh, it's really neat. Went out right outside the aquarium. They do have a hot dog stand by this gentleman wearing the hat. We had a pretzel. It was amazing. And I love the don't be a meanie by a weenie. We bought those pretzels, it was $5, and it was fantastic. And there we go, that'll do it for our time at the Adventure Aquarium. Uh, it was about $40 admission to get in, uh, so a little steep on the admission price. And then we were here for about two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. um, I did enjoy it though, very high quality, I think, attraction. Uh, lots of larger enclosures, not as many smaller enclosures. I think the highlight for both of us was Jenny and Button. Yeah. Seeing the hippopotamuses eating, being so active, that I was how wonderful. Jenny's eyes were so buggy. Yep. And even oh. that trainer said that's how you could tell them apart very easily. Yep. And any day you get to see little blue penguins, well, that's a good day as well. If you got any questions about the aquarium, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.